we're hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> 69. All right. Um, okay, last session. Uh, you guys, the party uh, questioned the remaining survivors uh, from Vanguard. Um, questioned the children, questioned the dead body, and went to investigate a crater. Um, you guys found out that uh, before the initial impact impacted Vanguard, there was a small quake, then the sky darkened, and then impact. Um, you learned from Gatha, uh, one of the young dwarven girl, uh, girls that had sustained injury from the aftershock, that she had seen birds flying away before anything happened. She also saw uh, pretty green and blue colors coming from the mountains, uh, which so happens to be the direction that the cultists were going to and from uh, when they were buying supplies from in uh, Vanguard. Also, when you question the dead body, uh, one of the... the, he, the um, questioned body commented that uh, they had seen one of the cultists bury um, a crystal a purple crystal in the ground which also would explain the fact why uh, Tilda, Melanie, and Tegan found so many shards of preclusium near in the impact uh, zone like shards of glitter so to speak um after questioning and investigating, uh, you d you guys decided it was probably time to go up to the mountain area where Malbert had encountered the undead giants and undead skeletal creature he had engaged in combat with, um, which seemed like they were in the same area as where the lights were coming from, or the, the lights that Gatha saw came from. Um, <clears throat> You guys decided to, you know, since you had a battle earlier that day, you would sleep um, in Tilatine Hut. Uh, surprisingly, you guys learned that um, Malbert's Warhammer might be sentient. Uh, you also learned that Malbert actually knows an acquaintance of yours, uh, Mayor Varys uh, from Gadon. Uh, who he used to travel with, and he told you if you, when you asked some questions about his um, venturing days, he told you, uh, you know, the the group he uh, uh, adventured with, and so on. Um, before we ended, I believe Tilda was going to send a message to Alexandria about the preclusium. Right. Yeah. I totally remember <laughs> that and definitely <laughs> did not forget. It's it's cool. You can like write it out during game or something and <laughs> it's cool. Um Um Anybody doing anything before they turn in for the night? Um I think Prim would just be talking to Malbert about like recent stuff that's happened in Iron Fast. Okay. Not necessarily in Nortech, but just catching up on what's happened in the country for the last five years. Okay. Um that's a local sports team doing, you know. Yeah, how 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 are them pickaxes doing in the <laughs> in in the in the Pondera rugby stone rugby cup. I don't know. <laughs> I should I should do something like that. Um Malbert will tell you that he tends to, other than getting his, he he gets his news from Vanguard every so often. He goes back. Um, well, he did get his news from Vanguard uh, when he had to go back and restock on supplies from time to time. And the country as a whole, you get the distinct impression from him that. He does not like the 
<laughs> Just I... hear my trash cat. <laughs> Down there, going. Bruh. Yeah, I heard. I heard your cat. I'm like, kitty. Come here, come here, trash cat. Come here. Her into the microphone. Nope. Okay. He says hi. Okay. Um, you get the distinct impression that Malbert does not care for iron fast politics. Uh, mm -hmm. The upper class of iron fast. He has a distinct disdain for them okay um but he will he will tell you that um he he's heard that you know the mining's been good they're shipping more iron ore out copper you know common commonly used ores out um recently uh lots of granite lots of regular stone he has heard that the iron fast government has been sending ships to the elven lands uh mm -hmm. to support them in their campaign against the drow apparently the elven lands have on this is a very rare occasion. Usually the elven lands tend to keep to themselves. But they have asked for help from the eastern continent to help them with the drow because there is a slave rebellion happening in Robur. And they can't... How but... did you find that? <laughs> That's actually San Francisco Point of Manners, uh, which is my ah, ah, okay. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> that makes more sense. Mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's been a lot of talk. There's been um, it's not it's not a popular decision to send aid to the elves, but the general public gets the gist that if they have say if the drow actually overtook the elven lands, that would spell trouble for everyone. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a begrudging thing, but they know it has to be done. And he has heard that other nations on the eastern continent, uh, Dighton especially, um, Skorok, not so much, but they are going to lend aid as well, have been sending um, whatever spare uh, military or supplies to the elven lands on the agreement that it only goes to the defense of the Evelyns versus the drow and not the slave rebellion. The slave uh -huh. rebellion is something they have to take care of because it's kind of... Slavery is looked very down upon on the eastern continent. Uh -huh. So they're like, as, as long as their resources are used for the drow invasion, then they're, they're fine. And a few, country, a few like an iron fast Malbert has heard. It sounds a lot like, hey, if we help them now, maybe they'll owe us in the future. Hmm. Okay. File all that away for later. Okay. If at any point a drow a, a drow invasion becomes relevant. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, okay. anybody else doing anything? I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Um... Hang on, I'm still typing. Okay. So. That's fine. <laughs> typing attack. I don't hear Mallory. Okay, that's fine. I thought you you wanted to do something. Um, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have push to talk on because uh, people are banging around in the kitchen. Okay, that's cool. All right, so hmm, 
I don't hear anything. No, nothing. But there's some technical issues. <laughs> Okay, cool. Um, let me. So we can do the we can do the thing with Saitari in a um character a character thing. Yeah, sure. Um, they catch up. All right, let me try to write a message back. Technical problems. <laughs> hey! Let's try it now. I'm here, yeah. All right, built in. Still going with the. Still going with the laptop. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So, what was the thing with the uh, Zaitari now? Well, so like sometime. Sometime in the evening, before everyone goes to bed, but, like, when, probably, like, when Malbert isn't, like, paying attention or is already asleep or something like that, mm -hmm. uh, Prim would go over to just, like, go and sit near Zaitari. I imagine there, like, it's the tiny hut, so there's not tons of room. Yeah, yeah. And, ju and just, after a couple of seconds, it's just, like, awkward silence, just sort of, like, So why are you so keen on getting me set up with someone? Trying what? Whatever do you mean, Prim? Well, um... You... You were quite keen to know about who I was going to be engaged to, and that I don't understand that. But then you wanted to know if me, if if me and Malbert were, and she just like trails off, and her face is just bright red. <laughs> well, I I mean, I don't know many dwarves or particular dwarven culture, so I don't necessarily know what. Dwarven flirting might look like, and if Malbert was flirting, I was just curious. I'm not trying to set you up at all. I was oh, just, you okay. know. I just. He's not really my type. That's okay. Uh, can I. Uh, I suppose this is work to tell people. Right now, um, my fiance wasn't really my type either. Okay, well, what is your type? Oh, it's just that Tig was he was my friend and he was willing to, he didn't want children, that was a big thing. He didn't mm -hmm. want children, and he didn't mind me being a guard. Mm -hmm. I just thought it's it's hard enough being lit being being littler than most other people without you know uh, having to admit that you might like bigger people. Oh, I see. Bright red. <laughs> That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I've been with many types. So, we all have our preferences. There's nothing wrong with that. You you were married, right? <laughs> I just look at her, and then I look at Tegan. Is Tegan asleep? He's asleep. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> and I just, like, um... <clears throat> So Zaitari probably turns a shade of burgundy <laughs> would be the proper, properly, proper, um, probably how Zaitari would blush. 
Um, <clears throat> uh, Brent, you might want to keep your voice down a little bit about that. I, I know. It's sorry. It's that's, uh, because there are a lot of people who don't know about that, and I want to keep that a secret <laughs> as much as possible. I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh oh. I don't know where Rogo. Yeah. Hmm. I will imagine that she will be back. Mm -hmm. I hope. I mean, hopefully. It's, it's only that. I don't know. There's a part of me that feels like I'm betraying Tyke by thinking about other people, and then there's a part of me that thinks that I'm missing out because I'm never going to get him back. And I don't know if I'm ever going to find another person like him who would let me put my career first. Well, I suppose it depends on what's important to you. Um, when we get back to Nortec, I, I, I would imagine that we're going back to Nortec, we can find out where he is, and at the very least, look him up and see what's happened. He might be married, and he might not, and if it's something you want to explore, we can always try to see him. Or uh, I volunteer myself as tribute if you would like me to go talk to him. Uh, oh, oh no. You wait on the sidelines. I give you the all clear. You come in, uh, make this swooping appearance, and sweep him off his feet. Zaitari, you're an absolutely lovely person. And you're smart, and you're funny, and you're beautiful. Yes, but I'm going to tell you... Keep going. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm aware of all these things, but I enjoy hearing them. What I'm going to, I'm going to tell you right now, you don't want to, t you don't want to deal with his family. Well, the Dundarans, the Dundarans are, the Dundarans are what you would call traditional dwarves. That's fine. I can still talk. To you, I would imagine. <laughs> By which I mean they probably wouldn't talk to you. Mm. That sort well, of traditional. No, I guess. What, like non dwarves? Yeah, to put it lightly. No, oh, okay. Fine. I, I appreciate the offer. Well, at the very least, I imagine we can look him up and, at the very, very least, find out if there have been any civil records to see if he has uh, been betrothed or wed to another. So, we should be able to at least find out that information. Alright. I think... I think that might help. Just to... Okay. Just to see if he's moved on. Maybe. I don't know. You can always try writing a letter, too. Should. And I should write a letter back to my, my aunt and my uncle, too. That might be a good idea. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry to, to, to bother you, but I... It's no bother. Okay. Thank you. I'll, I'll let you sleep. The shuffles the five feet away. That's fine. I'm just <laughs> staring at Tegan while uh, Prim moves away <laughs> to make sure he's actually asleep. <laughs> Can I make an insight check? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> it was like <sighs> heavy breathing. I was being quiet. His mouth was there. Seems like he's asleep. Okay. I think something happened to Rose Internet. Yeah, I think so too. Guess. Because she was, it, like, it was lingering in uh, Roll 20. And yeah. typically when that happens, it, it tends to be like an internet outage. Ah. So. So we wait a couple minutes? Yeah. Okay. Sure. I will pause the recording. Okay, 
So, uh, she checked if Tegan was asleep. Um, okay. Um, I sent you that. I sent you something, mm -hmm. bro. Um, yep. All right. If no one else has anything they want to do before they go to bed, um, um, so I thought we were going up the mountain, right? Yeah. We, um, run, we rested first. Yeah, so. you guys rested first in the uh, tiny hut. Okay. Because you guys got a rock thorn at you. <laughs> Fair. We're okay. um, stopping on the way, aren't we, at the cultist house or whatever to retreat? Isn't it kind of the same way? Or no? Well, yeah, it's up the mountain. Right? You... So, the dwarves only had seen the cultists go to the east. They'd never actually seen where they were camping. <clears throat> so, if you guys um, want to look for where they could have possibly be camping, that's fine. Well, I thought that's what we were going to be doing after we rested. That we were going up the mountain. And... To Mal the east. Yeah, Malbert was going to show you where he had found the undead entities, and that that was also east. All right. Okay, so that's both east. Least. They're both We're east. We're at least fucking out for it, at least. Yes. Yeah, Everything is east. <laughs> not west. I not do not me? visualize things good in my head. It's, it's just like a... No. <laughs> we don't need to go... West? <laughs> <laughs> Weast. <laughs> uh, Are we talking about Diane Weast? No? Uh, uh, wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, guys. I appreciate it. I appreciate your joke. I, I mean, I feel very all. judged for my Diane Weist <laughs> comment. <laughs> well, it was very Diane Weak. Oh, <laughs> that one's worse. Go sit in the corner. Sorry, I had to. Anyway. You guys wake up the next morning. <laughs> morning happens. <laughs> morning happens. Um, Great. I can... We live, we die, we live again. Uh, Malbert says it's going to take at least maybe two and a half days to get to the location of where the uh, undead giants he fought were. So. <sighs> and he's he's going to warn you, it's going to get pretty cold. So, if you guys need any winter clothing well you're kind of yes you're kind of out of luck right now because the town has disappeared oh um, uh, shit why we didn't we think of together that? for warmth <laughs> <laughs> well miss prim oh i love the cold uh uh Guys, hard to tell us that, that we would be trekking through the mountains and might need cold weather gear. <laughs> it's hard cut to Prim and it's she's just doing calisthenics to the snow. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just behind her shivering and glaring. <laughs> Dying. We're all just icicles. Oh man. How how uh, how I feel cold like is we it, got like, degree Wait a second. I feel like we got um cold weather gear when we um uh when we were in Valido, didn't we? Cuz like we were in the middle of a fucking blizzard then I mean, do you have it listed in your inventory? Of course I don't. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> this was like 10 sessions ago. I don't remember picking anything up, but that might have just been me. Damn it. Is there something we can do to, like, <laughs> say, Oh, yeah, no, totally. We totally picked up um, better clothes. 
I have protection from energy. Uh, but how I long does that, that last? Instance. We would need One a of warmth. Yeah. Um. Let me see here. I mean, there might be a cleric spell, hang on, that I don't have listed because I thought it was useless and now suddenly isn't. <laughs> Let me look. Um. Protection for the sanctuary. Flame. Oh, it emits no heat. <laughs> well, then what's the point? <laughs> Nice. Um, create food and water. Yeah. Well, um, just to let you know, today's weather is normal for this. A season. balmy seventy-two degrees. <laughs> uh, with no with no wind. Well, you're at, like at the bottom of the mountain. Um, and no precipitation. So you're you're at um you're at a, on a partly cloudy day. It's cold. It's probably twenty two Fahrenheit. Jesus Christ! But it's it's a nice clearish day. Will do. Um, Why the fuck didn't we buy? <laughs> Uh, um, I'm going to ask Malbert if there uh, is are any like hunter outposts or anything around here where we might be able to barter for some cold weather gear. Um, you see him thinking. Um, it will add half a day to our journey, but he knows one. Uh, maybe. <clears throat> Eight miles out of the way. Uh, well, girls, it's up to you. I mean, I'm, I'll be honest, traveling a full day with the weather being what it is, and it's only going to get bloody colder, it's going to take a toll on me too. Uh oh, who'd we lose? Oh, Mallory's probably just testing her sound. Oh. So, I, I mean, think I, getting some warm gear would be good. All right. Uh, uh, agreed. Yes. All right. Of course. All right. Now when it rained and told the both agree. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, he'll he'll take you to the outpost. It's about eight miles. Ugh. <laughs> like I just said. Uh huh. You have a broom. Yeah, yeah, that's not gonna keep me any warmer. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys um go eight miles. Um, I need to check the travel reach for eight miles because I should have this, and I don't. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. So, if you are mm, Give me a second. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Re-choose all my spells. Because I'm a cleric. That's how they work. Alright. <laughs> so, it'll probably take you... Three... Maybe three hours. Since it's, like, a decent... Like, it's not flat all the way to the, <clears throat> uh, to the uh, hunting outpost. Um... So it's gonna about gonna take you like three or four hours to get there, and you're you're going through some pretty heavy brush too. Um, 
So you get to the hunting outpost. Um, we have to go climb a mountain. We still found a way to shop. <laughs> <laughs> um, we need clothes. Damn it! It's cold. I need you guys to roll constitution checks. Ah, oh, fuck. Yes, constitution saving throws. My bad. Oh. Do I get Do I get advantage worse. because this is my home? Yes. Yay. <laughs> I liked that long ass pause. I'm thinking, I'm like, you have lived here for a while. Oh, fuck. So it's always fun. It's <laughs> always like, this ain't code? Alright, so Ray <laughs> and Tilda, it, it, it's, it's really difficult getting those eight miles to the hunting um, outpost, uh, you both suffer one level of exhaustion. So after, food. so after the first, after the first hour, um, whoever is, whoever's suffering the, whoever's suffering the worst, which probably is rain. Yeah. <laughs> based on that. It's just, it's like in the, it looks like a nice warm outfit. <clears throat> it's not helping. It's not helping. It's just, it's just, it's just... <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, wait a second, wait a second. Because Tilda's right. been on her broom instead of walking, so she's fucking freezing. Yeah, you, you know, when you're walking in the snow, you can kind of, you know, you have, uh, you're sweating because you're walking. Hmm. Um, do whatever you want. <laughs> I'm just... Okay. So, um, so as like as part of my bedroll, like I have a I have blankets, like I because I have a bedroll. Um, so I would uh, give the give the blanket probably to um, to Tilda because she's not going to get wet because she's up on the broom like like slogging through mm -hmm. snow. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, I'm going to try and cast protection from energy on rain. After all, for the second hour, to just give her just like a, re a reprieve okay. from the cold, so resistance. So she has resistance to cold damage, okay. which is I know is like damage, but like there's no protection from elements spell. Yep. In D and D. <laughs> all right. Um. All right. So you guys get to the outpost. Um, it is a log-style wooden cabin uh, in a clearing, and partway towards the outpost, there is actually a, not a very worn path, but a somewhat recognizable path. Um, Malbert will point out some of the markings people use to find the outpost. Usually it's hunters, trappers that come up here, forgers that trade for furs and whatnot. And when you get inside, there is a... Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much what you see. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, I just realized what it was. No. <laughs> no. What is he? What is it he says, I can't remember. It's been so long since I watched it because it's a bad movie. Um, oh, hello, you, party hole, party hole, something like that. Who do you? Who do you? I think it's you. Yeah, I think it's that. Something <laughs> really similar. Okay, so we arrive. Yeah, you arrive. So at, we arrive. Yes, you uh, you at, arrive at uh, the um, the dire site. That doesn't sound um good. <laughs> and the reason it's called the dire site, as soon as you walk in to the establishment, there is a giant stuffed dire boar. There's a mounted head of a dire wolf over the roaring fire. And behind the counter, there is a 
very rough looking dwarven man that looks like the left part of his face below the eye um something clawed <laughs> into him um and even inside he's still wearing like a um a he he's wearing he's wearing a scarf that looks like it's been made out of the tail of some very furry wire, wiry animal and he looks up and he's like ah hey Malbert and he nods and says warden how you doing um we need to get outfitted and Warden looks at the rest of you, you uh, some of you who are <laughs> shivering, and he, you know, <laughs> waves a hand up. Come on, we'll get you something to wear. Come on. Um, I miss the desert. <laughs> <laughs> um, usually, uh, he doesn't take coin. Usually, it's trade. Um, but if you don't, if if all you have is coin, then he will trade he will trade co uh, coin with you um out here it's just a little more helpful for for like trading supplies and ore or wood berries or things that raw materials or foodstuffs that kind of thing mm -hmm. um so what will you all be needing besides um probably I'm thinking for cloaks um a few of you will probably need snowshoes I should like well I don't think we should need snowshoes No snowshoes okay So I get the legolas bonus for being half elf I walk on top of <laughs> I should like Sada something. works, right? <laughs> I should like something that will fit under my armor, please. Okay, I can uh, definitely help you with that. Well, we have um, some nice fur-lined boots available. Um, and do you, you have anything that isn't rustic? <laughs> he peers <laughs> at you. Not saying the quality isn't wonderful, but just something more fashionable. I just start, I just start elbowing Zaitari in the hip. Just, Maybe something a more she can't help herself. She, he, Tilda's not saying anything. She because her teeth are chattering so bad. <laughs> um, but she's just kind of standing next to Zaitari, looking pitiful. <laughs> As the only person who managed to actually succeed. <laughs> so. No, I think I succeeded. Oh, sorry. Out of, out of the only people who aren't prim. Who's <laughs> used to... <laughs> Melanie didn't have to make the constitution saving throw. Um, that's okay. actually a good point. <laughs> Let's see how she's doing. Shit. She's she is she is a she is a um she's a warrior, yeah. so she should be okay. Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, about... I kind of figured, but <laughs> how's Tegan Melanie looking? Melanie takes her top off and just goes running through the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Tegan's okay too. Um, I mean, he's managing, but he could probably use some some warm clothes too. Um. Each set of warm clothes is probably going to cost you uh let's see the coats, gloves and the like coats, gloves, mittens to go over the gloves. <laughs> <laughs> um hats hoods on cloaks boots long johns 
Uh, he, 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 I mean, this is just, you know, if, standard if you, New England winter wear. Yeah. If you guys want, like, the full, like, the full set, it's gonna cost ten gold each. Ten gold? That's it? Each, yes. Each. Yeah, that's fine. I understand. Okay. Um, one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah, you'll look Five, like, six. you know, Christmas story. Yeah, pretty much. I'm willing to pay more if you have something... Not rustic. <laughs> um, Do you have perhaps... anything in nice colors? Or is it just shades of brown? Elbow, 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 elbow. He's gonna go, he goes in the back. <laughs> Are you guys just like slap fighting over? <laughs> he goes, he, War, Warden kind of like look like squints his eyes at you. He goes into the back. What can I say? I'm uh, from the city. And he comes out with a bundle. It looks like a, a white furred thing. And he puts it on the table, and you realize it's a skin polar bear. <gasps> and the the head, which is still attached. Um, nope. 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 But there's nope. like a, a space <laughs> where you could put your your like the top of your head through. So it's like the mouth is like kind of resting where your forehead would be. Um, nope. <laughs> Tilda will make do. <laughs> he said. Warden says we have that. Um, <laughs> Tilda just. <laughs> Can't. This is, this is <laughs> um, Tilda will that? pull out the full. Uh, was it? we've got five of us plus cool. Tegan. Yep, and um, Malbert's totally fine. Malbert's fine. Yep. Great. So we'll pull out the sixty gold, just slam it on the <laughs> um, uh, the counter, and say, P -p 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 "Please, just get us warm things." He 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 brings out the you know woolen mittens and the boots and the thick coats, and he he, he puts that all out once you put the money on um, the table. So mm -hmm. sorry. Do you, do you want that? <laughs> the polar bear isn't necessarily my aesthetic. It doesn't really go with the theming, you know. But, I mean... Darling. I'm going just... to buy it for Tegan. <laughs> Tegan's so... like... <laughs> I was gonna say, what? It'll make it look you more badass. <laughs> or, if Melanie wants it, that also would be fine. I have a feeling Melanie would I feel like would Melanie have... would yeah. want it. I, I have a feeling say, Melanie I feel would like... definitely want this. Huh? Well, um, sir, mm -hmm. if I might if I might offer a service in exchange for at least part of this, uh, do you have anything that you need that's stone that you need worked? Mm. Now that you mention it, <laughs> oh no, um, pretty. Is that what I'm going to be asked to do? No, um, no. I was just looking at um the Mallory's message, um. <laughs> Like fix, he says, or like made into something, or just about anything that you want it to be. I do. I I do have a stone, um, uh, a stone cutting table, um, but the surface of it has seen. Well, I'll I'll I'll, I'll show you. Um, he, you know, opens like the area of the counter where it lifts open and. Hmm brings you to the back and you know past some of the storage area he has a very large uh, stone cutting table um, mm -hmm. that's seen better days it looks like there was a fight in here possibly with a bear and the Kay. table is just cracked um, there was a large piece of looks like maybe granite that was being used for the top of the table and he's like if 
if you can fix this, I mean, I'll be happy to give throw in the the um, the bear for free, motioning to the polar bear skin. <laughs> Like, how much do I want <laughs> for Zaitari to embarrass Tegan? Oh, I figure we settled on giving it to Melanie. I have a, to. Yeah, I have And to. Melanie would be over in the corner going, please, oh, 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 please. <laughs> I just, okay. I just know Lynn would definitely want this. Yeah. Oh yeah. So I, I know that we, too. I, I, yeah. I feel, I feel no reason to deny her that. So, I would just gladly pay the price just so that Melanie has it. Um, does this look like something that I could fix with stone shape? Yes, definitely. Okay. So Prim is going to take her gauntlets off and rub her hands together. And lay her her palms down on the two halves and start like trying to push them together. And she's going to cast stone shape as she does. Okay. And is going to is going to just um as she she pushes them together, the stone just like starts to melt under her hands mm -hmm. and then like reforms in the middle and then it's just smooth. And he's like, "Thanks, wow. So you're a holy woman." Um, or what? one of the, or one of the wild magic individuals. I I, I don't want to judge just because he gestures to clerics. Am I right? They're just crazy. They can do all kinds of things. I like to think of myself not as a holy woman, but a woman of faith. Mm. I think it sounds a little bit less judgmental that way. Mm. I see. But I'm pleased to help. Well, thank you very much. And now I can get back to work on some other pieces. Uh, the 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 polar bear skin is yours. Um, actually, I don't want to see it anymore. That was the bugger who uh, was in here. Oh, that broke the table. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, I I threw him onto the table. He's a little heavier than I thought he was, and well. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that I could help, and I'm glad we can take it off your hands. Thank you. She hand and she like takes the polar bear the polar bear skin and she hands it to Melanie like ceremonious. Ceremoniously. Sarah. Ah. Ah. All right. Now we're like, all right, we're ready to go. Um, as soon as Tilda's um, teeth stop shattering, like after it stopped um, chattering when she put on the clothes, she starts like trying to make them look nicer and like you know in a more fashionable kind of way. Just you know, tilts the hat to the side, you know, kind of wear the the cloak. Um, I don't know, differently, I don't know. But yeah, that that's... And then she kind of looks at Mallory and goes, <clears throat> Love and cheek. Uh, say Tyra, you're right. Cheek, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> fine. Yeah, Zaitari is going to attempt to uh, try to get the bird-studded leather armor to try to glamour on top of the leather. <laughs> Or like on top of all of the layers of clothes, and see if it'll work. She's never done it before, but okay. she's gonna try and see what happens. Okay. Uh, what are you trying to glamour it into? I'm basically just trying to make it look like I am a snow queen, but in black furs with okay. some red accents. Okay. Um, bitch. <laughs> roll a. Let's make this an arcana check. You can you can get. So yeah, so the warm clothes is trying to. Are you trying to put the warm clothes under your glamoured armor, or stick it in there, or just make it part of the ensemble? I don't think I can get the. <sighs> the the like what we have under the leather armor it's already probably 
pretty tight against the skin. It is. Um, so, yeah, Zaitari would just try to get it work over the clothes. Like, she doesn't know the boundaries of, like, how how far this uh, gl glamour can extend, so. Um, you can change in the back, uh, Prim. Um, that's yeah. no problem. Um, it works pretty well. There are some, like, brown, like, dark brown patches here and there. Um, a lot of your, a lot of the warm clothes is made out of different furs, uh, beaver, for example, um, some fox, um, are the graphics clipping? <laughs> <laughs> slightly. The gra graphics are clipping slightly. But, I mean, <laughs> it works. One second, I'm feeding my cat. <laughs> Prim comes back after a couple of minutes looking slightly bulkier <laughs> than before and just starts putting her armor back on. gonna put winter clothes on here i'm carrying and so that way we have clothes, clothes you guys <laughs> that's cats. what bags of holding are for yeah cats are uh cats are fed well french fries Yay. fed he'll stop looking at me now okay um all right uh anybody else want to do anything or get anything before they head out uh, what else is here? <laughs> well, he has a variety of um, hunting weapons, bear traps. Um, and if, does he have any more potions? Any potions of cold resistance? <laughs> uh, he does not have any potions of cold resistance. Well, uh, then, what good is he? <laughs> he has animal urine. Um, does he yeah. have potions? Does he have potions of lightning resistance? Mm, that's fair. Um, unfortunately, he does not. Damn. Then I guess Melanie, Melanie no tackles tackle. him. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, he sold them all to people. Um, <laughs> has, has, Malbert, has Malbert indicated to us how far away the where the cultists were going is? Um, or are we just heading in that direction and hoping? You were probably he, he's like I don't know where the cultists were. Um, the people you said to they went east. Um, I was gonna take you in the direction east of where I saw the undead giants. Tilda and her uh, flying room and her twenty something perception to go for the pie. <clears throat> okay, so that would have changed what. Okay. So I can make food and water. So okay, we don't great. need that. I can make 45 pounds of food. It's bland but nourishing. Malbert says he does have a spice bag, so... If you need pepper or salt, he's got you covered. Oh, so okay. we're well... surprisingly good together. Okay. Alright, um... Other than that, uh, health potions, stuff like that. Most of the stuff he sells, uh, Warden sells here, uh, is mundane stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. just tra traps, things to attract animals, rations, warm clothing, um... A sled. What kind of stuff to attract animals is, yeah. Uh, the urine was one of them. Um, he does a variety of <laughs> Yeah, but what, kind, but what kind of animal is it attracting? Uh, uh, deer uh, is a popular one, he says. Um, wolverine is also another one. The, um, and he does have one for 
a bear. Um, no, how, how good does stuff work? Uh, I mean, talking hours, minutes. It it de- it depends on the season. Warden will say, um, especially in like mating seasons, they work very well. Um, it, you would you would have to stay in a wooded area for a little while for the animals to be attracted. Um, and it depends where the animal is in the area. Um, if you happen to be close to said deer, it, it could work very quickly. I don't know how much for, uh, is that one wolverine and one, is it bear? Uh, bear, wolverine, and deer are the ones he commonly keeps in stock. I'm sure the bear and the wolverine. Okay. Great. Uh, um, that will be four silver. <laughs> Range kind of looks over the You never know. And now buy one of each. <laughs> um, how big is the teams. sled? The sled? Um, it's one of those sleds that a um pack of uh Alas- well Alaskan huskies like with the inter- um I did her okay. would pull. So you can put some stuff on it, but you you'd need something to pull it. Pull it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Bless you. Thank you, everyone. And by everyone, I mean Heather and my mom. <laughs> You're welcome. I was very busy entering Wolverine urine and bear urine into my sack. <laughs> um, by the way, Tilda, um, seeing, uh, seeing Zaitari kind of, you know, change her appearance to the, um, pretty furs and such, just kind of scoffs for a second and, um, says I suppose some people need magic to look fabulous and others are naturally fabulous well I like my I like my magic <laughs> Tilda's not jealous at all nope no I don't. she's nope. not being petty or anything nope Everybody that else was pretty much looks, <laughs> Everybody else pretty much looks like this guy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Except for Prim, she just looks like a uh, you know, she looks like uh looks at her. the younger brother. Uh yeah. the younger brother from a Christmas story but with more plate. Yeah. It's gonna Rain's just gonna <laughs> copy Zaitari for a minute and then go, nah, it's not for me. And turn it back off. Oh, that's right. I forgot you had a set of that. Comes in handy. It really does. Okay. Once Prim gets her armor all back on, she's ready to go. Okay. Um, all right. Um, Malbert says, do you want to go back to our starting point and try to see from that way or just continue on at a di- diagonal going towards the air, towards the eastern uh, mountains? I was going to take you. Um, just as long as it doesn't waste time. Okay. I mean, it would probably it would probably be better to trace the same route that they took, right? That our probably could be made. that we think they made. Malbert says. I mean, I'll I'll I'll, I'll attempt to, from the descriptions of the survivors, do that. Um, I I never interacted with the the cultists, so it's difficult to for me to. I can take a guess which way they went. Hmm. A guess is better than what we'd be doing on our own. Okay. 
All right. He is going to write survival. Okay. All right. So you guys continue from a uh, dire, si dire site towards the mountains. Um, so, and travel for probably another three hours for, continue on for another five hours, uh, getting part way up the mountain at this point. Uh, it starts, it, the temperature has dropped to around 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, there's, there's, there's a little bit of a wind, but not too much, and it's still a, there's no, there's no snow as you're going up. Um, I need, I need everybody to roll perception checks. Yay! Fuck that, I'm re-rolling. <laughs> um... <laughs> hmm. Ha-ha! <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny, because I was actually considering using my, um, natural Save 20 divination. Remember, those who do suffer from exhaustion <gasps> no! have disabil disadvantage on ability checks. Right. Fuck. Okay, well, let's see then. I get. Oh, that's awesome because I get to choose yep, whichever one is. I want. <laughs> yeah, I choose a 21 <laughs> as part of the lucky feat. <laughs> okay, so. I hate everything right now. I'm very sad. That's like, that's like two sides of a pendulum right there. Yep. Indeed it is. Yeah. Yes! No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Rain got... Rain, you're the only one who's gotten above a 15. Right? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, you can also roll for Melanie. I could roll for Melanie. She is not a god. And I will do so since, you know, I rolled the uh perceptionist. Yep, she uh yep. <laughs> Alright. Um It's my elf icy. It's it's icy. There's a lot of snow. The snow is getting sinking around um the to, to the upper mid part of your feet. Um, it's cold. It's really cold. There's a cat running around my house. And, yeah. But it's a clear day. So yeah. I didn't see anything? You, you don't see anything. With the 21? It's... Don't see anything with the 21, huh? It's a nice day. For a moment. God damn, that's, 21's pretty good, too. Right. As you continue on your day. Um, how lo how much longer are you guys going to travel? So you already traveled three hours to the post. Are you going to go five hour, five more hours to do the full eight hour day travel? Or yeah, I guess yes. the sun starts going down. Okay. Um, keep marching along. Okay. Uh, Flying along for some of us. Okay. Uh, you guys continue on. Your way, uh, Malbert. Is anybody proficient in survival? I'll check Malbert's thing. Yep. I have jack of all trades. So at the very least, I can give somebody advantage. So. Right. <laughs> uh, Melanie is not proficient in survival. Um, Prim? Any chance? Nope. Malbert yep. is proficient in survival. Save oh, us! Hi, Robert, save us! <laughs> okay. 
Um, he says, he, okay, so you're making good time. Um, according to Malbert. But? Uh, he does suggest that they, you guys, we find a area to camp. Or to use the, the tiny hut. I was about to say, it doesn't matter where we are, if we use, if we're using the tiny hut, it's, you know, comfortable and warm. Okay. Um, then he says, and he suggests, since it's getting darker earlier in the day, then after five hours, then the camping should be um, the priority. Mm-hmm. All right. So I assume tiny hut and you guys resting for the night. Yeah. All right. We'll still um, keep a we'll still keep a watch, you know, yeah. in case anybody decides that they want to inspect the tiny hut. Mm -hmm. And by the way, the tiny hut is on the outside. It just looks white, so it matches the snow. Okay. Um, alright, so give me a watch order. Um. Something in the night, because I got night vision, so. Uh, yeah, I'll also Second take some or... point, uh, during the dark, since I also have, uh, dark vision. Tilda uh, will so... either take first watch or no watch. Uh, Prim's up super early, so she can take last watch if no one else wants it. Alright, so Prim would take. Uh, uh, Melanie, Rain, Zaitari, and Prim. Sure. Until sure. they can sleep. Yeah, sounds good to me. <laughs> Tegan, Tegan and Malwork will also watch if you need them to. They can hang out. Okay, they yeah. hang out. <laughs> they will hang out. Okay, cool. They can each take two watches. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get rest. All right. Um, so, first watch is Melanie. With her elven um, eyes. I was about to say, half elven, dark vision. What do you see with your special eyes? Um, all right. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. That's weird. <laughs> Isengard. Nothing God, happens God. during her watch, so she will wake up Rain. And right. tell her it's her turn to watch. So if you can give me a perception check, please. I guess I would still have disadvantage, right? Yes. I haven't gotten there. Okay, so again, I'm going to burn the luck to get super advantage. Good, fuck that. So okay. technically that's a... Actually, it's a 13 plus 11. That is 24. Okay. Because when you do lucky, you get to pick whatever one you want, regardless okay. of advantage. Unless, unless you want to roll different. No, it's, it's fine. Um, all right. Um, nothing happens during your watch. Um, Zaitari. Opening up the sheet. Waiting for the sheet I, to open. Again, forgetting push to talk. Um, <laughs> I'm, going to cast, I'm going to cast Enhance Ability on myself, Al's Wisdom, so I have advantage okay. on my Wisdom checks, which is Perception. I don't think we don't trust our DM. <laughs> nice. It's still only a 24, though. <laughs> so... Okay. Um, you're, Only a 24. You're, you're well, four. I mean, Rain didn't see anything. Your watch passes without incident. Watch, it's all gonna be fine. Okay. Yeah. And Prim. All right. I was about to say, she's just making us do perception checks to freak us out. 
It's fine. Mm, watch, we're gonna get attacked by a Tarrasque when Prim wakes up. <laughs> um, Prim? So during your watch... Oh, Jesus I have a question, and please don't meta game. If there is an... If the ground shakes... Uh -huh. Would you guys feel it from inside the tiny hut? Um, let's see. So um. I think the question is, is the tiny hut a sphere, or is it a half sphere? A I've half always half imagined half it as a dome. A uh, it's, a, it's an immobile dome of force. Um, the sage advices see. come up, and they say that there is a magical floor to it that they can't technically get through. It's technically a hemisphere. But I, if I was the DM, I wouldn't roll it that way because it's just too easy to block everything then. But that's the actual ruling is that it does have like a magical bottom to it. Some sage advice. I've looked this one up. <laughs> but we're still yeah. on the ground. Yeah. yeah. Does it absorb shock? I'm just... It's, four. it's a force field, so... Um... I guess it depends on how heavy the tremors are. Because even that's true, yeah, yeah. Because if it's if it's like slight shaking, I would argue probably not because but you might it, not feel it, it. Is it a point Although, five on the Richter scale or is it a two point five? It was probably so. Was... Here's what the spell actually says, guys. Mm -hmm. Spells and other magical effects can't extend through the dome or be cast through it. And the atmosphere inside the space is comfortable and dry, regardless of the weather outside. Okay. I'm, you know, that's, yeah. it's up to you, yeah, DM, right. whether you think this, uh, sorry if that was loud, but um, whether you think this is um, something that um, is considered a magical effect okay or um whether the ground shaking would leave us uncomfortable and, and whether that's a weather thing okay um you know what i mean yes i okay. now that you said that i think i know exactly what happens okay so prim okay you feel some vibration mm -hmm. but it's not like an earthquake or anything. It's just a slight tremble and then it re it, it recedes. Okay. So my first instinct is would be to stick my head out of the out of the <laughs> tiny hut. Okay. Well, I mean, it, it's transparent. You can see outside. Oh, is it? It's mm -hmm. fine, yes. Okay. It's just opaque from the outside. Yeah. Hang on, someone has a squeaky toy. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah. Um she would she, no, she would stick her head out even so just to see if there's anything that she can feel or see that you know that the uh, walls of the hut is blocking. Okay. Um when you stick your head outside <clears throat> you you get the tail end of the tremors and there's nothing once you fully stick your head outside. <laughs> Uh, I look up. Do I see birds flying off? Uh, you roll a perception check. Your sun's rising, so I'm trying to figure. So you're I'm the you... worst person for this guy. <clears throat> um, by the way, guys, my internet might be about to cut out because I'm getting a lot of warnings and. Uh, yeah, you just dropped yeah. from row twenty. <sighs> yep. We can still hear you though, so yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Now you're back. I can still. Because I can still hear you. Yeah, you're yeah. back. Um, Prim, you do not see any birds. Okay. Um, are either Tegan or Malbert up with me, or did uh, they have Malbert's earlier? getting up? Um, he's an early riser as well. Okay, so she's gonna um, uh, pull her head back inside. And uh, sort of like crab, but you know, shuffle over to Malbert. Yep. Because she's not wearing her armor. And she's like, hey, hmm? do you feel that just now? Mm. Yeah, let's, let's see if he did. Um, yeah. I did. 
And so good news is there's not an avalanche. Bad news is it could be coming from underneath. So what around here might be causing tremors from underneath? I mean, we're not on a fault line, are we? No, we're not on a fault line. My best guess is maybe a... Have you ever heard of a... a... You know, they're... A, a remoras? Um... I feel like she's probably heard stories, but doesn't know much about them. So, uh, so she says, uh, there's some sort of like ice worm, right? Yes, uh, I, 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 I akin it more to uh, a, an ice oh. centipede. Um, there, the young, the the older ones tend to hang around north, um, but the younger ones tend to hang around more southern areas and I've encountered younger ones before so we might want to be careful this many people tr I usually don't have a problem with them but this many people walking across a few days it might attract attention so we might want to warn uh, is, the are, others are we walking across snow yet? yes you are, okay. you are walking across <laughs> snow all right, so uh, Prim is gonna like you know actually get up, start putting on her armor, probably waking everyone else up in the process. <laughs> um, but uh, gonna tell Malbert. Um, I don't know if it'll help, but do you reckon it? Uh, might, you reckon it might work if we walked on top of the snow instead of sinking down through it? It might help. Yes, actually. Okay. Um... Yeah, the lighter, the lighter our, the lighter our um, footfalls are, then the le the less vibration we like, the less pressure we would cause on the snow, because the the remoras definitely search for prey, pressure wise. All right, uh, let's see if we can try doing that then instead of just. Pro tip: Don't get getting... swallowed by one of these guys. No, um, it's rather unpleasant. I Plus, you would have to go back to, um, what's his face, the guy at at um, the dwarven oh, capital. Fair guy. Oh yeah, the oh. um, you'd have to go talk to um, Kindred. Um, Kindred, the, yeah, yeah, the Ayun guy. <laughs> Tell him all about it. <laughs> Oh, you met him, says so. Malbert. I don't like talking to him. He's annoying. Well, this isn't Tilda saying oh, it. I yeah, was okay. saying it out of character. I'm sorry. It's okay. So, yeah, so Prim is going to go, uh, after she gets her arm around on, is going to go and wake up everyone else um, one by one and just, like, holding her finger up to her lips. And mm, just, and five just, more like, minutes. Say, don't move too much. Try and keep still for a little bit, okay? All right. Malbert says that there's something called a remoras that might be skulking around underground near here. He says that they sense things by by pressure and weight. So, I'm thinking that we wait for a little bit and see if maybe the tremors go away. I could also just get everybody in the hole and have Tilda fly us out of here. <clears throat> I was also thinking we could try walking on top of the snow rather than through it. I was also thinking the same thing. Uh, since it is the morning, Prim, any chance you would like to prepare uh, water walking? Well, just so happens that I was uh, thinking about this a little last night. You know, after we came in, after we came into the tiny hut, and we were all soaking wet. So, all right, and so, uh, Prim is going to wait until everyone is ready to go, and then she is going to cast um, Water Walk. I can take off the uh, exhaustion, right? Yes. Uh, anybody who got the full night's rest, Rain and Tilda, you guys can take off the exhaustion. I can cast Water Walk as a ritual, right? Uh, does it say ritual? 
It does say yeah, have there. it prepared. Yeah. Yeah. I do have it prepared. Yeah. Then you definitely can do that. Motherfucker. Yeah. Okay. Hey, that one's good. Uh, Somebody might be having a bad day. Yeah. Make someone right? yeah. fail. If we, make if we, someone fail, bestow curse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or, or if we fight the Reverends and I polymorph it into a sheep, <laughs> we can make it fail. <laughs> Not yep. gonna lie in one of Just as a suggestion. How, um, that's how we dealt with a purple worm. Yeah, that's I how mean, we've done with dealt with a yeah. purple worm too. Polymorphed it into a rabbit. Yeah, I mean it's you it's polymorphed just, it into a sheep. Uh, nice. Yep. You gotta we gotta keep the through line going. If we if we see a worm, it becomes a sheep, and then we tell it to run away, <laughs> and we move very quickly away <laughs> so from it. it. Yeah. Okay. So yep. So Prim is Prim's gonna wait uh, for everyone to start to to finish getting ready, and it's gonna like hang out until, like basic basically is just gonna suggest that we hang out until um, until Malbert thinks that the tremors have subsided. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when everyone is ready to go, she's gonna cast Waterlock. Okay. Like as a ritual. All right. Um. <laughs> Why though? So, Why um? So we, so you guys wait for a little while, and until you you figure there are no more tremors after maybe twenty minutes. Um, you and Melbert has you guys wait another maybe twenty five minutes. Until mm. he thinks, okay, I think we. It was early. Yeah, so, so he, he thinks we, you guys might be we might be okay now. He says. Um, so we'll start. <clears throat> we, we, but he does say we should start heading out soon if we want to get the full day's travel before the sun sets. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. So. Water walk happens, and I'm just gonna richly keep casting it every hour. Okay, sounds good. How many people can you hit with it? Uh, ten. Ten. All oh, right, so perfect. Dang. Um, no, there's a lot. Yeah, up to ten willing creatures. I like that it specifies willing. Yes. Mm. Yes. It, yes. All right. So you guys start heading out. Consent is important. It is. It is very important. I cast water walk on the Abola. <laughs> <laughs> oh no send it flying to the surface alright so <laughs> surprisingly it's 30 35 so a balmy 35 degrees thank you weather gods um, there's still no wind there's still no wind <laughs> but there's it's starting as about an hour into your journey, it starts to snow. And about 15 minutes later, you see f big clumps of snow uh, together. And you realize oh, fuck. your visibility is not going to be great. Uh, the snow continues and it gets heavier and heavier and heavier until you can only see maybe a couple feet in front of you. Okay. And um, it's kind of that like wet snow because it's a little warmer. So it's like mm -hmm. more like uh, ice. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's like a slushy uh, ice kind of deal. So your your travel speed is going to probably be have. I just want to say I am flying my broom as close to like other people as possible. Yep. Um, because I don't want to lose them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, after but... our vis visibility gets really low, I think we should probably take our rope and string it between everybody so that we don't get separated. Mm, yes. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. Okay. It's probably a good idea. That never-ending yeah. rope. Yes. Alright, so you guys 
take a take a few minutes to tie yourselves together to make sure that you don't lose each other, which is good. <laughs> And continue on. Prim, Prim makes sure that she doesn't tie it like around her waist or something. She wants to tie it around, um, like just like basically around her hand, so mm -hmm. it's easy for her to slip off of it if she has to. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's really, it's very difficult to see through this. Even Malbert, who's pretty experienced with you know, the mountain weather, he's having a tough time in this because it's such heavy snow slush. Damn it, why can't we be druids? <laughs> <laughs> um, Travel around the sparks, right? <laughs> mm. uh, okay. So you guys continue on. Um, you're casting water walking every hour. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, I need everybody to row perception checks. Um, at a disadvantage, I assume, because it's yes. really shitty. Yeah, it's pretty shitty. This is a disadvantage. Ah! Backfired. The disadvantage isn't even that much worse. Hey! Nice! Um, Albert. Solid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he's... Ah, fuck you. <laughs> I was only a 10 and a 12, too. <laughs> I know. And... Yes. Fucking rogues. Yeah. Jackass. Tegan and Malbert don't see shit. Um, Rain. You have a 21, so you do see this. Um, Damn. out of the corner of your eye, actually. Out of the corner of your eye, you think you see, shifting among the snow, a very... a white mass. Um, it looked big. It looked <laughs> probably as big as the frost giants you encountered. Uh, I... Broach over and uh, give it as a direction off of where we're heading. And then I'm going to reach into my pouch and just toss the Wolverine urine as far as I can away from us. Okay. Oh. I don't know if I'm going to do anything. <laughs> I'm not tossing it into the wind. By the way. No. <laughs> Yep, you just throw it right in front of you and it splashes you us all in the face. Great <laughs> job! Even if this does nothing, still the fact that I throw the Wolverine urine I know. is immortalized forever. I think we have an episode title. <laughs> <laughs> I toss the Wolverine urine. Yep. I mean, you might want to be careful about what you name this. Yeah, true. <laughs> okay. Um, you tossed the Wolverine woman. Um, there is a loud, mournful, well, not mournful, there is a loud, bloodthirsty howl that rips through um, everybody, and oh. Malbor is like, oh, fuck. Um, okay, so... Rain, you're the only one that saw it. Um, so I am going to go switch to the map. And only you can be on it. <laughs> um, I actually... Oh my god, so many wolverines. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many wolverines. Um... And they're like, oh hey, there's one of us around here. <laughs> Martin, say hi. Mer. Hi, Martin. He says hello. He's gonna go no, purr into his food dish again. No matter how much Callie is, like, talking, like, every time I try to get her on the mic, she's like, uh-uh, fuck you, I ain't talking. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't talk if I pick him up, so. Alright. Um, it's very frustrating. Sorry, I'm just adjusting. Like, I wish I could, I wish I could videotape, food, like, I could catch him. Oh yeah, so you're trying to pick up the camera, it's like, no, fuck you. 
Because mm. he makes the cutest noises. He's just constantly talking. Just... Alright, so Rain? See that? <laughs> um, I need everybody to put their tokens on. Um, oh, fuck! In the order... I should have said a marching order. Malware probably would have been in front. The fuck because... is that? It's a, um, you're not sure. It's a lar. it's a huge monstrosity, uh, covered in white fur. It has yeah. horns. Yep. <laughs> that, my friends, is an abominable snow monster. So, here, here's how I imagine we might be traveling. Rather than in a vertical line, I would imagine it would be more of a diagonal line okay because that way we would feel more if something happened mm -hmm. like you know while we were walking rather than behind each other mm -hmm. and that way we can look to the left and right and sort of see each other you know since the visibility is so low so that's that kind of how i imagine we probably would be walking that i i that makes sense why the information <laughs> Um, this is, so where so where is this where we're coming from right here? Yes. So well, okay. you kind of came from like this, like this ish. This ish. Okay. So the here. All right. Yeah. Um, and Albert yeah. was kind of leading the way. Okay. But he wasn't. He was kind of getting lost. Like he, it, the visibility is terrible. So, Mal so Malbert would definitely be first. Yes, he would. He's definitely um, in the front. Um, Tegan would probably be somewhere in the middle ish. Um, uh, the... Prim, Prim would be close. Prim would be as close to the middle as possible so that she can get everyone into the water walk. Okay. Um, just to let you in know, the middle with Tegan. Uh, you guys probably still have water walk on. Um, so you're, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be so concerned about the blue areas on the map, like this area, for example, uh, which are icy. So if normally, if you didn't have water walking, how does this affect ice? I don't think it affects ice. It makes it so you can walk on snow. Um... Okay, so grants the ability to move across any liquid surface, such as water, acid, mud, snow, quicksand, or lava, as if it were harmless, solid ground. So I think ice would still be difficult. Mm. But snow area, snowy areas wouldn't. Also, don't forget to put Melanie out. Yes, Melanie is coming out. Um... She's coming out. I was thinking the exact same thing. Oh. <laughs> She's out. Alright, she'd probably be somewhere around there. She wants the world to know. Got to Got that, to that show. show. <laughs> yeah, it's... <laughs> um, I'm sorry, Terry. No, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, oh, I thought you were French fry ketchup. Jeez. <laughs> How could you mistake your own children? I was. I was. You scratched the chair. I didn't see him. I don't know what their scratches are like. Well, you should. You're a bad mother. I, I'm horrible. And you call us your mother. You call us your children. You call yourself our mother. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry, Fred. Fred. <laughs> All right. So remember, just kidding. There is hey, there is very low vis visibility here. It is still. I'm scared about what this is. <laughs> Can't figure that out. It's the it's the, it's the urine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am very scared of what that is. Um, alright, so... I need all of you to row... Initiative? Initiative. 
<laughs> we already started <laughs> the tracker game up. Hot damn, Prim. Good job. Dang! God damn it. <laughs> Get him, Tilda. Well, Rain goes first, because, you know. Um, Rain would go first. Oh, no. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Rain would go first. <laughs> <laughs> if she had seen the other one. <gasps> oh fuck! Don't forget about any add melody to the tracker. I I'm working on it. There are <laughs> right, so yeah, many moving playing. parts. Do you uh, want one of us to run melody or? Yeah, I think I need one of you to run melody, please. <laughs> I'm already controlling um, two NPCs. I I'm used to it in our Curse of Strahd game, so. I yeah, I'd say that. that I would do it, but uh, laptop. Yeah, that's is fine. Hard. All right, I will roll. Um, uh, uh, you have you have? Do you have? You don't have access to her sheet, do you? Um, no. Yeah. For some I, reason, people took away our permissions. I yeah, that that why. was me. Um, now you should have <laughs> access to her sheet. Well, gee, I'm shocked that you took- you were the one <laughs> who took away. Well, I, mean, I can't imagine why someone would do that, you know? Uh, mm. so do you have access to a sheet? I don't see it. Uh, I might just see my character. Yeah, you might have to refresh real funny. Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, because you are, um, it, it should- oh, hold on. How about now? Oh, tell you in a moment. <laughs> Ketchup, why are you yeah. rolling? <laughs> Love him. He's downstairs in the garden level. <laughs> where Brandon's Pay office is. Pay attention to the boy. <laughs> Alright, did it show up? It sure showed yeah. up. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, roll her initiative, please. And I need to do Malbert. And, oh, wow. Tegan, oh, Tegan that actually did okay. Is anybody wearing the Ring of Free Action right now, by the way? No. Not me. <sighs> okay. Um, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna name this one... Blue, because I need to differentiate Fred. these guys. Um, okay. Fred and James. And he's freaking out on my screen for some reason. What the hell? Hold on. Fred Yeti. Fred Yeti. He I um, mean, see, here's the thing. I think it should be Fred Yeti and Betty Yeti. But that is oh, kind of heteronormative. So. Uh, Fred Yeti and Hetty Yeti? I mean, it's... H e t t i. Oh, Hetty and Betty. There we go. Hetty and Betty Yeti. All right. Yep. So <laughs> he is going to go. So they're in love. Yep. Obviously. They're married. They're married. Um, yep. We've ruined our honeymoon. That's what we've done. I, I know. <laughs> yeah. We've, we've stumbled tried. upon their home. <laughs> No, I feel like uh, Betty, uh, Betty and Hetty have been married for a while, but this is like they're um, reaffirming their vows, and we have crashed their party. We've just crashed it. Yeah. <sighs> Darren is ignoring. Us. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to find a D8. <laughs> doing stuff. I'm busy doing DM a uh, GM thing. <laughs> There's a D8. Perfect. Do they have children? Nope. I Hopefully yeah. they don't, because okay. we're probably going to kill those two. Okay. Um, 
So they're like swans. They're like gay swans who steal <laughs> swan eggs from other <laughs> swans. <laughs> All right. He's gonna go there. Oh fuck! She oh, she is. <laughs> Sh- sure, she is going to go there. <laughs> Blue is Betty, because the <laughs> Betty. All right. Yep. All right. Fine. Betty Thank is going to go there. I need. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna make it so much better when they murder us. <laughs> I I need Melanie to roll a Constitution saving throw. As its cold, steely gaze falls upon her. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. Um, So, Melanie seems frozen in place momentarily. Um, Um, she, I believe she does not have any resistance or immunity to cold. Um, so she will take 20 points of cold damage. Jeez. And she will be paralyzed. Uh, Which she can repeat the saving throw at the end of her turn. Alright. Bad. I will keep track of the paralyze. Um... Okay. And then he is mm, he is not in range. She, sorry. She is not in range. Um all right. Uh rain. Are you muted? No, no, I'm just saying. Um, Hmm. And I will hold my action till someone gets up in uh, the creature space. And then I will attack. Okay. Tilda. Yeah. Um... I'm going to... Uh, what? Uh, I, I forgot. I have. It doesn't matter. I have the cloak on. I don't need a bonus action dodge. Okay. Yeah, this way, sir. Cloak. Um, 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 um. Hang on. Uh... <laughs> Um, okay, I'm going to cast, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, I gotta see, uh, good night, yes, I love you too, mom, good night, Miss Rob, we love you too, mom, <laughs> good night, mom, <laughs> night, mom, all my friends say good night too, <laughs> Hey, one of them said that we love her, but you know. One of them even whatever. said she loves you. <laughs> Mallory yeah. said she loves you. <laughs> um, she's saying kick some ass. <laughs> we will. Aww, we'll try you. not to die. We'll try not to die. Okay. Um, I'm going to <laughs> cast uh this seems like a monumentally dumb idea, but fuck it. I'm gonna cast blindness deafness okay. on um Betty. Okay. Betty Yeti. Betty, okay. <laughs> this blue. <laughs> uh it's con- that's I assume that's a constitution saving throw. Um, I'm going to make her blind. Okay, constitution saving throw. 
Uh, um, it... And she will have a one on her constitution saving throw. Okay. She is yes. blind. She's okay. Blind. <laughs> did you hear me? Yes. DM? Yes. I did. So one minute. You're muted, Darren. One yeah. minute. Something she... with the cats happened. Yep. Uh, sorry. One minute. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. I will keep track of her blind. Cool. Okay. She is blind. Cool. Okay. Uh, um, are you happy where you are? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> um, on my broom, I will... Um... So, is this, this is all ice. Yeah. And this is, like, just, I don't know where I'm going. Okay. Um, on my broom, I will fly over to here. Okay. How uh, high in, uh, in the air are you? Um, high enough that I can... I can see, um, the Yeti. Okay. But not so high that, um, well, <sighs> eh, no, I want to be here, yeah. Um, I don't know, I, I, I want to be far enough away that, far, you know, high enough that they can't really see me. Cause I like I'm small. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm darting through here. Mm -hmm. Um, but I want to be able to see them and my party. Okay. So I don't know how that, how high that gets me, but <sighs> probably want to be some odd like fifteen feet in the air. But okay. And again, it's really snowing very heavily. Yeah. So, I'm going to say visibility, probably 15 feet in front of you is what I'm imagining what you can see. Ah, uh, damn it. I can't say 15? Why not? That seems dumb. Okay, we're just going to put that there. Okay. Um, all right, Prim. Okay. So I'm I'm going to follow the sound of the roaring. Mhm. Mm uh and half uh so 5 10 15 20 25 right here. Okay. Cuz that's ice. No, you got to walk shit. Yeah, yeah, but it doesn't do anything for ice, for slippery. It only lets you walk on snow. Okay. Well, I okay. guess use my bonus action for extra movement. Uh, and then I'm going to go. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna get right up on it. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna hunker down and I'm gonna cast Spirit Guardians. Okay. Uh. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, you're next to it. Does uh yeah uh do you do you, does your held action trigger uh yep yep okay so wisdom saving throw nope so it will take the seventeen and health that definitely hits so you sing wouldn't you have advantage because Betty's blinded. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. That's true. That is and you have build an accuracy, don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what I'm gonna do is Flags Burt Learning. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. That's that's holy shit, still... look at that sneak. Well, it's still the first one because I didn't uh, uh didn't actually correct. Okay. Yeah. I'll just do the first damage roll. Alright, so 23 there. points of damage. Excellent. Okay. And so I'm hunkered down next to this thing, sort of, like, out of the wind, and uh, let me go ahead and give myself an aura, 
as angelic figures just start spreading out for me, and I'm going to designate just, like, all my friends. Okay. So it's, like, not be affected. So its movement is halved. Uh, and let me know when it starts its turn there. Okay, will do. Um, Tegan is going to... Tr- he does um, see it. He's going to take one step forward. Yes. Just a question, because Spirit Guardian says you have to be able to see, um, designate any cre- number of creatures you can see. Um, can she see me? I probably can't see Tilda. Yeah, you probably she probably can't see you. Right now, she sees Rain, Tegan, Malbert, Melanie, and right. giant thing. What about Saitari? Saitari is... Can I make a perception check just because I know she's there? Like, I was just next to her. You were just next to her, so you know where she was. Um, I'll, I'll say you can make a perception check. Whereas Tilda just yeah, zoomed you, off. Yeah, you kind of zoomed off. I don't know. Yeah, you, you can't. I mean, it depends on where you started your casting. Of it, really. you know, I mean, you could have cast it right now. I mean, you're still inside of all of us, I think. Yeah, that's true. Like, Prim knows her spells better than I do, so. Okay. Um, it's, uh, it's DM's choice. Yep. Tegan is going to fire. Um, he is going to do some damage to the Yeti. We all know it's a Yeti. <laughs> no, no reason not to. It's a particularly abominable yeti yeah mm. yeah it is um i would say she is she she, she. she is come on guys yeah. <laughs> all right um and betty he, has a gender <laughs> yeah he's gonna stick right there for now um monster starts uh her turn so i need the so wisdom save wisdom save nope so, 17 radiant damage. Okay. Betty's looking hurt. Betty's looking hurt. But Betty knows there's somebody around her. So, she is going to blindly attempt to swing at them. So, so a disadvantage, um, right? Yeah, it will be a disadvantage. So, she's going to blindly, first blindly swipe at um, Prim does not. Yay. And then blindly swipes at Rain. Uh, Rain, does a 22 hit your armor class? Oh, wait. Mm, let's, roll, let's roll that armor class. And it's Displacer, but it's disadvantage anyway, so yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm saying. Alright, so you want me to re-roll the just one dice. Yep. One dice. So. It's the same number. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay. Um, that's, that's how it goes on, like, kids, anyway. Like, saving and stuff is not itself, but anytime it's an actual attack, there's always it's anyway. Okay, Rain, you will take um, 14 points of slashing damage. And then and you're cold damage you will take an additional nine points of cold damage. Ooh. Is that all part of uh, like one attack? Yes, so it's like, that's I'm all gonna part have of one uncanny attack. Uncanny dodge it, so 17 plus 9 is... 26. 26, so 13 total. Okay. 26 total at the... That's my reaction. I got only one of those. <laughs> okay. Um, right. this creature... And at the end of... Hmm? Um, at the end of uh, Betty's turn, she can make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Um, she's going to first figure out, hey, the thing I'm standing in here feels bad. <laughs> so she is going to try to move away. Prim I mean, and Rain. it's no Wolverine urine. <laughs> <laughs> Prim and Rain will get to make um, opportunity... Um, Attacks. Prim won't well, yeah. just use the reaction. Right. So, Prim, if you want an opportunity to attack, you can take it. 
Okay, I'm going to um, take my opportunity attack, see if I hit. Uh, you do. Cool. Uh, and I'm going to use the Divine Strike. So I'm going to add an extra 1d8 radiant damage. Nice. Okay. Mm. Great. Yeah. I try. Uh, you know what? I try. Okay. Oh my god, do I try. <laughs> um, I try all the time. In this, in instant this institution. institution. Um, Reminds me, I've been watching the old She-Ra stuff on Netflix. Is it in pre preparation for the new one? Uh, no, I've already, the new one's already out, and I've watched the new one a couple times. I just wanted to see... I, I still want to see it. I, I, I know it's, it's got to be good. The design it is, is so good. Uh, it's... And it's by the, the, the woman who wrote Nimona, I think, is, uh, it? Or she, like, is part of it. Noelle Stevenson? Yep. She uh, yeah, she, she wrote it. Yeah. All right. Uh, she, oh, she's cool. Betty is yeah. still blind. Um, she didn't beat 18? She didn't beat 18. Good. <laughs> and... Hetty. Hetty. Mm -hmm. Hetty is going to look at Prim. Uh, I need you to roll constitution saving. for her. Okay. Okay, you're fine. Um, stare her in the eye. You stare. You stare him back in the eye. I do that thing where I like point at my eyes and I point at her. Him. <laughs> her. Oh, it's... Hetty's also. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah, that's married. cool. All right. Um... <laughs> <laughs> this narrative you've you've all created. <laughs> This is their, this is their reaffirmation of their wedding. <laughs> okay, Zaitari. They have three children. Freddie, Letty, and uh, John. <laughs> yep. All right. Two questions. Mm -hmm. Did we establish that I am safe from the from Prim's personal fuck zone? Yes, you're safe from Prim's personal okay. fuck zone. All right, and second question: What's my visibility? Uh, uh, Fifteen feet yet? in front of you. <sighs> All right, so I can uh, see the other. I'll be right back. But I gotta decide what I'm doing. Um, they moved, so that kind of goes against what I was thinking about doing. Yeah. Um. Uh, let me think. What's something? Okay. Um, I am going to. Let me think. All right. There's two. I'm I'm debating between two options. One is more direct but risky. Because they could make the save. Mm, what do I want to do? Um, all right, I'm going to go with my original plan. Um, I am going to cast uh, Major Image. Uh, yes, obviously at level three. Um, and I'm going to place it right here. Wait, hold on. Wait, that's not going to ping. That's my ruler. I'm going to place it right here. It is going to be can you a large... see that spot? Can I see that spot? That's a good question. I think so. Yeah, I can. I can see that spot. You said 50 feet, right? I said 15. Oh, 15. I thought you said 50. Okay, that's, a... Sorry. that's better. <laughs> that's fine. I must have learned to enunciate. It's okay. Um, I don't have. Uh... Saitari's still over there. Like, what? What do we? F What's going on? <laughs> Why has everyone no, abandoned me? There's no um, 
difficult terrain, right? Um, so around here, hold on. I, I now I'm not pinging you there. Around here, this icy okay. part is difficult terrain. So okay. anywhere where you see that blue jagged ash area, it's ice. Okay, let me just snap this to corner. So I would need to get right here. I think I can do that from where I'm standing. Yeah, I would be able to just get close enough to where I could see that spot. So I'm going to get right here. Stop. And my snap to corner. Nope, that's not. Dang it. Yeah, I can get I can get to I can get to the point that I originally wanted it at. Um right around that area. I'm going to make a um because I'm not sure what a Remoraz looks like. Um uh, basically I'm going to make a purple worm that bursts out of the ground, but it's blue and cold looking. Okay. Um, and it's threatening both of the... It, it's just going to threaten anything um, in uh, that general direction. You know, it's just going to make loud noises, act like it's attacking... Stuff like that. Okay. You know, there's all the auditory, um, visual and smelly, uh, um, senses that goes along with that, so. Okay. Awesome. Um, trying to get them nice and distracted. That is my whole turn. Okay. Great. Uh, Malbert is so. Where is it? It's like right here. Yes, it would be. Let's see. Can it get too huge? Yeah, so it would be huge. Yes. So right there, taking up those nine squares. All right. So those guys are looking at him. It's like, blah. Um, Malbert is going to attempt to. Okay, he can. It would take up that that uh yeah general area. All right, he's going to go uh, twenty, and then ugh. yeah, he wouldn't be able. Short stubby legs, or he could go short stubby legs. <laughs> legs are very short and stubby. Um. He is going through throw the jab one. Jab one of lightning. Four. Dexterity save. He makes his dexterity save, so it's half. That's actually a pretty good roll. Um, 14 points of lightning damage. And then he is... Sorry, I gotta go back to his list of magic items. <clears throat> It's fine. Uh, KK can figure out what Melanie's going to do. Yeah. <laughs> Making a save. Yeah, it's true. She's only got the save right now. Um. Wow, he's really not good. Okay, good. Um, good for now. Is there any sort of uh, indication that this is an image to the rest of us <laughs> or the, no actually I... um i mean you guys those yeah, magic fucking roaches i mean i mean if i mean zaitari could have said something <laughs> oh zaitari over the brooches definitely would have said that she wouldn't not 
Tegan and um, Malbert. Malbert. Yeah, Malbert's like, what the? Probably have no idea what's going on, so they would need to make uh, probably, what is it, an intelligence saving throw? Yeah. Oh, yeah, an investigation check against my save DC to determine if it's fake or not. Okay, your save so, DC is... Is it... Is... I think it's an 18. 18? So Alright, so Malbert has... Is like looking up at you see him looking up at it and he, it's a 17 my okay. save is a 17 a 17 um he looks up at it and he takes a swing at it and then it goes right through so we don't know what tegan thinks yet um melanie is going to make her save and now that occurs at the end of the turn right yes or, or uh she's there. currently incapacitated Alright, so, that's fine too. That's fine too, I assume. Uh, 22 Yes. So she is no longer paralyzed. Rain! Nice. Well, well, well. Um... I'm going to try and go 5, 10, uh... So, like, we have, like, limited visibility. I'm going to try to very quietly sneak into range. So, I guess as my bonus action. I'm... Can I hide because of the limited visibility without ducking behind something? Yeah, I say you can. Okay, let's see how that goes. Oof. You... Yeah, you What's slip... That you, you slip a little on that ice to make, make a, like, you know, a, a, a yelp. <laughs> I will... I'm gonna... Just, uh, shoot at it with the crossbow. With the weather as it is without the disadvantage. Um... Or just normal. I'm just asking because you know it's windy and whatnot. not. Um, are you throwing the dagger or? Uh, shooting the crossbow. Shooting the crossbow. Uh, you can if you're shooting the one right in front of you, then you don't have to. Oh wait, Eight plus five. Okay, yeah, that was me. I guess I wait a minute. Have no sheet up. No. But that was back to my sheet now. <laughs> uh, so, just regular, you said? Yeah, the one in front of you, no disadvantage. Yikes, on that damage, though. Seven so it's not, seven. so you, you, she, you have sneak attack because she's blind. Ooh, sure. So, but I've had an advantage. I would yes. have had advantage. You would have advantage because she's blind. Um, so that is 19 points. Nope. Okay. Um, Tilda. Right. Um, I'm going to head over here. On my broom. Um, it's nice that the broom gives me 50 feet of movement. And I cast Lightning Bolt. Okay. Uh, um, level 3. Okay. Yes. 18 dexterity. So the mm -hmm. first Ooh, one. Good damage. Second one. Very good so, damage. The good news mm -hmm. is the first one uh, flubs and takes all of it. Okay. Uh, the second one did make it so save. Heady. Yeah, Hetty did. She did not make. She Hetty made her save. Oh so fuck! Half. How? She's this big. Hulking thing! She's apparently- she does a flip in the air. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. She's <laughs> the one I should have blinded. 
Um, are you doing anything else? Um, I'm gonna move. Okay. <laughs> um, I'd like to move. Uh, another fifteen feet right about here. But yeah, cool. That's about my full movement. Prim. Okay. Uh, sorry. There was a cat a thing happened. No, a dog. Ah. Bit my mom. So. Um. What's this blue square here, please? That's a pr uh, image of a blue purple worm that Zaitari put up, and she let you guys know that um, it's a it's not real. Okay. Um. So let's see. Uh. So by the way, Hetty took half of the lightning damage, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna move five, ten. 15, uh, right here, uh, in front of, um, Hetty, mm -hmm. and I am going to, burr, 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 burr. so I've got spirit, have I taken any damage, by the way? Uh, you have not taken any damage. Cool. Uh, I am going to... Oh, that's uh, right. You I'm still gonna... have spirit guardians on you, right? I do have spirit guardians on me still. Yeah, we can't see that. The aura. Oh, um, DM, can you make it visible? Yes. Thank you. Please and thank you. Peas and carrots. Um, <laughs> for spirit guardians, is that they would make the save on their turn now, yeah, right? Yeah, when, when they start their turn in it, or, um, let me see, it's when they start their turn out in it, or when they... They end in it, I think. Yeah, if they end their turn in it. So they could potentially take it twice in one... Oh, when it enters the area for the first time on a turn, or starts its turn there. Yeah, okay. So, uh, does it count as entering through the area for the first time on its turn if I move into their space? I think that's why the you know if they start their turn there. Yeah. 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 I think then... yeah because before would have been the first time. Now it's now it's just the starting their turn there. Okay. Though for the one were they ever in it? Were they both in it at the same time or just uh, one Betty, of them? Betty, Betty was in it. Betty was uh, in it. Okay. Betty was in it. So the time. other one. The other one would need to make their save okay. now. Uh, doesn't make the save. Okay. Uh, so that's going to be... 21 okay. radiant damage. Awesome. Uh, and then uh, as my bonus Very action, nice. I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Okay. And that's going to be at level 3. Okay. Or no, it's, at, it's every two levels, isn't it? Yes. The damage well, goes up. Let's do level 4. Right. Uh, oh, ignore resilient fear. Ignore resilience here. Okay. Okay. So the hammer appears next to. Uh, it's gonna appear. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. Here you go. It's gonna appear next to Betty over okay. here. Okay. And it's gonna smash her with a nineteen. Okay, a nineteen does and, hit. And she takes a measly five force damage. That which I am. Uh, that does down her. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm gonna turn around and oh, uh, poor Betty, <laughs> poor Betty, and I'm gonna turn around and as my action, I'm going to smack Hetty okay. with my hand axe. Seventeen. That does connect. All right, and uh, it's a new turn, so I'm going to use divine uh, divine strike again. So that's eight plus. So 10, 10 uh, 8 slashing damage, 2 radiant. Okay. Awesome. That's uh, my turn. All right. Uh, Tegan is going to be like, where I'm the... keep chasing them around. <laughs> going to try going straight. 
Well, does he know that the weird looking he does purple not. worm? He doesn't. And then when he gets close, well, he no wait, he's gonna turn to it. He's gonna roll an investigation. Uh, he realizes it, it's not real. Nice. Good. Good job, <laughs> Spark boy. And he will continue on and attempt to shoot Hetty. He does not shoot Hetty. Ugh. He's not good he's at He's smart, this. but he's not great at aiming. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of snow. There's, it's, there's <laughs> a lot of snow. Visibility. All right. Hetty... Hetty does not realize that this is fake. Hetty thinks Perfect. it's real. Yes. Hetty's gonna move her here. She. She. She's gonna move her... Right. She's gonna move her here. Um... And glares at it. <laughs> Not exactly. Oh uh, fuck. <laughs> let's see. I I need to get this right. So if hold on. Oh boy. Let me... Maybe my plan backfired. Oh no. So if you're there, she's over here. I oh, God. think I can get lots of people. Oh no. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. I think I. Do I get? No, hold on. One, two, three, four. From um. Sorry, I'm taking long. No, no. And then... by all means, no. Yes. Please line up your cone. <laughs> okay. I'm very far away. Shut up. <laughs> one, two. All right. Rain, worm, prim. No, rain, rain. Hold on. The the worm doesn't need to save shit. It just. <laughs> 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 the worm I can. Is I can, however, on my turn, manipulate it to look like it has taken damage. <laughs> so. <laughs> so it's a, so a little delay. bit. You know, it's just a six-second delay. Hedy does not know Rain's there, so Hedy's going to ignore Rain. Yeah. So, Prim, Malbert, Zaitari, Tegan dismisses... This misses Melanie. Um, I need all of you to roll constitution saving throws. God! Damn it. As he, as she, sorry, she, uh, takes in a deep breath and oh, um, oh, releases fuck. a torrent of cold in I the direction. I doubt that 13 does it. <laughs> there goes my spirit guardians. Mm, I'm gonna need There goes some... my worm. Um... You know, oh wait, um, Hetty started her turn in the aura of the spirit guardians. Yes. Oh yeah, she did. Um, um, she, take in... save. Uh, she does not save, so... Uh, she... They're not very wise, are they? No, they're not. They're consistently getting below a 15. Nah, What's the damage? So the damage is... Uh, uh... 20 radiant. Okay, cool. Nice! Alright, so, where are my other dice? Yeah, I also didn't peg them for being very smart, thus the major image play, but uh, mm -hmm. kind of cold, not helping. I did not peg them for being very dexterous, which was why I used the lightning. But that didn't work out. <laughs> That one got luck. He, uh, she got lucky. She rolled a natural twenty on her save. Uh, of course she did. So she she was doing all kinds of flips. <laughs> Sweet flips on that skateboard. Mm. Sweet kick flips. All right. So yeah, we didn't know it, but <laughs> Hetty on the um, she's a skateboard hobbyist. Uh. I can't count. Hold on. Well, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Um, all right, so it's one, two, three, four. 
that. Okay. Um, so it looks like. Oh, Malbert needs to roll. Oh, he's fine. He'll take half. Um, and Tegan needs to roll. Uh, he will be okay as well. All right. Uh, so Zaitari and Prim, uh, you take 43 points of cold damage. There's no way I can beat no. this con save. No, there is not. Unless I, unless I roll on that 20. So. So what's 43 halved? Uh, uh of a bit. is it down or up? <laughs> is it down or up? Usually down, mostly, isn't it? I don't know though. Damage. Yeah, I'm gonna say roll down. So you, you, yes! you can keep it. Yes. I don't think mine oh. stays Holy though. Shit. With. The yeah. Yeah, if it's I not mean, a nat, if it's, yeah, it's a 17, right? Yeah, no. Well, uh, 43 halved. I, I could have gotten it. I just needed to, would have needed to roll, uh, a 19 yeah. or higher. Yeah, so the, the worm goes away. Rip worm. Uh, Tegan <laughs> takes 21 points. Malbert takes half of 21 is 10. 10 if it's yep rounded down um roars and triumphant uh and now it's going to get away from the bright aura because it hurts yeah we still can't see the aura Oh, hold on. And I see nothing around. I, I can see. I can see. Oh, well. I then know. I can. I guess I'm the only one who can't see it. Um, and also, does Prim get a... Um, do I get a what? Um, uh, uh, attack of opportunity. I would. Yes, you can take it. I'm gonna smack it with a hammer. <laughs> Yeah, smash it with a hammer. You smash it with a hammer. Uh, four slashing damage. Okay, awesome. Uh, Zaitari. Yeah, so that really hurt. Yeah. Um, I don't think I can catch up with it. Uh, and I don't want to waste any of my abilities or higher level spells in order to get to it where I can actually hit it with something. So I'm just going to heal myself now. Um... So I'm going to cast Cure Wounds at third level <laughs> try to mitigate some of this damage that just occurred to me. <laughs> That's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Could be worse. You're lucky you put it at a higher level, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because okay. I was sitting pretty at a 14. Uh... So uh, I'm going to back up okay. a bit as well. So I'll figure it out, but that'll be my turn. Okay. Uh, Malbert is going to charge. <laughs> wow. He... It sucks being a dwarf. <laughs> it really does. There's a, re there's a reason why I took the boots. It's like, <laughs> it's like fucking Kima. Whenever she yeah. tried to help, whenever they brought her along, she, she, she was just constantly running from place to place trying to hit something. Her tiny little legs just never could get there. He's gonna, he's, yeah. you know, he's gonna, he's gonna fucking 
double move and just get in <laughs> its face because he's just sick of being left behind all the time. Um, kind of funny how much that five feet of movement matters. You I know. know. Um, Melanie. Um, I'm Melanie, not kind of hearing where everything's going on. I think she's going to double move, kind of rush towards where she saw everybody, okay. and she can get up like so she's next to Prim. Okay, cool. And, um... Yeah, she just runs right past Saitari, like, holy shit, holy <laughs> shit, um, oh, holy shit, it's um, cold, 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 cold. I'm going Um, and she will axe and, uh, axe the thing. <laughs> Action surge. Okay. Uh, that's me. That's not no one. And she's going to pull up the, the bow and, um, two shots. Okay, let's see if I hit. It definitely <laughs> hits. Um, okay. Uh, that is 13 points. Alright. Um, okay. And... Uh, is that her turn? Okay, uh, we'll add, um, the goading attack, um, yeah, so add this damage and it has to make the wisdom save. Okay. One whole damage, and, uh... Makes the wisdom win. save. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> Alright, and we'll do another attack. Okay. And, um... Damn. Hmm. Okay, that's an automatic effect. I'll take care of that in a second. And I'll do, um, put the strap strike on that. So it'll give advantage to the next. And add the. Alright. Okay. The, that does that go off now? Uh, yeah, that nine goes now. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> it that is exactly what you needed to take hit her down. Uh. Um. But, and I'm really not BSing you guys, cause <laughs> don't. I hold on. I gotta figure out where this goes. What? Are we gonna find her around now? Yep. <laughs> because from between Rain Yeah, and they were making friend. a lot of noise, so Yeah, from between Rain and Melanie, out pops out. Oh fuck. <laughs> All that coming. This guy. Ah! <laughs> Um, uh, so, that, so it has to make a wisdom saving throw. It will make the wisdom saving throw. <laughs> Hold on. Didn't know Jesus it was there. Um, the fake Rimaraz goes away and the real one appears. Doesn't doesn't make a doesn't make it save, I so we'll take damage. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it immediately takes twelve for making a damage. Alright. So Terry, this thing is fucking terrifying. <laughs> Um, well, the whoa. fake the fake Remoraz just looks like a purple worm, but blue. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so... Oh yeah, a real Remoraz is terrifying looking. Yeah, they're way worse. But Zatari doesn't know what a Remoraz um, looks it like. It doesn't attack; it's just surfacing. So I just need uh, Rain and Melanie to make dexterity checks to get out of the way as it surfaces. It's all you, KK. Yeah, that right. actually is. This is my check. <laughs> That's why I said it. Yeah, you're you're pretty good. 
You don't know Rain. chunks of rice. Rice. Ice. Rice. <laughs> <laughs> From the wedding, the the, the fellows, people were throwing uh, rice. Uh, Melanie um, will take. Dominable and it's a saving throw, right? Yes. So. Melanie will take. Um. Okay. Uh. Oh, oh, Melody will not take oh. any ice falling damage. <laughs> um, but it does push you like five feet like away from it. So y you won't take any attacks of opportunities just the way it is. So um you just go yeah. So yeah. Yeah, it's okay. effectively forced movement. So. Yeah. Uh now it's Rain's turn. Um, um, I'm going to try to s get low to the ground, skittle, ah, uh, skittle off this way, <laughs> <laughs> and do a bonus action hide, to trying to get like out of its field of vision. Okay. Is that your turn? And then I'm going to try to attack it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, you do not have advantage. Yeah. It seemed to know that you were there. I know. Okay. <laughs> Not a character, I know. Like, <laughs> God damn you, it. You, you tried. It's fun. I, I understand. Thank you for thank you for going through with that. Um, as well <laughs> as your as your um. Oh, are you still using the hand crossbow? Uh, is it um occupying this space? Uh, it is. Because occupied... I would have I would I would have been here. I kind of didn't see where its feet were. Okay. I would have been there. Uh, it is um. It should be large. So it would it would have been right there. So if that matters, I didn't want to be in its um attack range. I didn't want to be up in melee with it. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, that's fine. All right, so takes twelve points. So yes. All right. Um, still snowing a lot. Uh, Tilda. There's a giant um, purple blue centipede. Well, I don't know if you can. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah, I was just wondering about that. Um, so, Tilda, at first would have assumed this was another um, <laughs> illusion, but then on seeing uh, Rain hand crossbow it and like and it's also, sticking, <laughs> you did not get any warning from Zaitari that she was making another one. So true. <laughs> True, but it's still, you know, it's kind of like we're in the thick of battle, like oh no! <laughs> um, realizes this might be real? And so, um, um, would like to cast Sacred Flame okay. upon it. Okay. Um, dexterity uh, does make its dexterity saving throw. Well, damn. Good to know, I guess. But also, would you like to move? Um. I think I will simply um circle around maybe go about here again yeah that that looks good to me all right prim okay so melanie standing beside prim just hears her going, what the fuck? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? And is going, she's just reflexively, as so a bonus action, I'm going to move the, the hammer. Okay. Um, and I think I can move the hammer. Yep. Just, like, up on it. Mm-hmm. 
and gonna hit it, hit it with a hammer. Okay. Right over Malbert's head, right? <laughs> He's short. Uh, yes, that connects. So 13 force damage. All right. And then uh, Prim is going to cast a Guiding Bolt at it. Uh, and that's going to be at second level. Okay. 17. 17 does connect. It sears into its... 23 radiant damage. Still kind of soft hide. It's a young one. 36 points of damage. Alright, and then she's just gonna... Um, she's gonna stay where she is for right now. Alright. Um, this thing's really dumb. When our four ranger... Tegan has oh, he's like, oh god, not another one. Um, he hits it. And he does damage to it. Yay. Yay. Alright. Now it, the, 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 it's gonna look around. So. Alright, so... You did a lot of damage to it, Prim. So it's gonna gun for you. Okay. It's going to so attempt. It starts it, so it starts its turn. Yep. So it uh, gets to make a wisdom save. Uh, it does not make it. Okay. So it takes. It. Twenty rate points of radiant damage. As it lurches forward to kill to. <laughs> You trap it in, you trap its jaws around your tiny body. It falls flat onto the ground. Is it all oh nice. my god! Wow. It dies. <laughs> and the best part is, I, I was going to ask when it got to my turn if Zaitari would have known what was happening. So there's a good chance she has no idea what the fuck just does happened. It, yeah. it, so with its momentum, I will be honest. Does it fall on me? Okay. <laughs> Just to make it oh. interesting. And then another one pop. No. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> and then another one pops out. <laughs> no, no, that, no. We're, we're out of no. combat. We're out of combat. There's okay. a Wolverine to the south. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, ser serious question, though. Does it fall on me with its momentum? Um, I'm gonna have it be a percentage chance. I'm gonna think okay. of a number. Okay. I got the number. Okay. It, it falls on you. Oh no! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> the the hood like the, the the top of the head falls on you, and then the the hood of the creature just covers the sides of your body. Now you're um, you are. This is the last thing that Melanie hears is oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then flump. <laughs> And um, it, it's very, oh, it's very, it's very warm under there. Um, I'm just waiting on a cartoon. I'm trying to just give me I imagine Melanie I'm, would. I was about to say, Melanie yeah, and. Yeah, Mel Melanie would help you out. <laughs> Melanie and Malbert probably are like, oh, yeah, no, we gotcha, we gotcha. Yeah, they're, they're, they're pulling oh. it off you. Oh. You notice it, oh, it was. Thing. Yeah, it, it was. It was very hot to the touch. Um, it probably would be scalding if it weren't so cold. Um, oh, but the off of me. yeah, sometimes it's like a rancid face. Oh my god! <sighs> um, it, it, Tilda it flies over to. It probably... Tilda flies over to Rain because she's the only one that she can see, <laughs> and she's like, "Let's get out of here before any more of those show up." show up. It yes. probably smells more like a um, a burning insect. Yeah, like so, so like scorpions, <laughs> like uh, uh, scorpions, and um, like a couple of the other like tarantulas smell kind of like fish and taste kind of like fish. 
Um, it's it's it it it, it smells so, like a burning fish. But so, but so like yeah like I'm I, uh it, it whatever it smells like I'm sure it doesn't smell good. No, it doesn't smell good. So it's just like Prim just like with the help of Melanie and Malbert just like claws her way <laughs> out. She's like, Ugh. oh, it touched me. Oh, <laughs> oh, I've got so many legs. <laughs> <laughs> What's the need all of those legs for? Zaitari over the brooch and, you know, <laughs> over over just the air as well is going to say, Where 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 are everybody? Um <laughs> I'm all by myself now and I know there are things happening because I can hear Prim, but I don't know where to go. Somebody please come get me. Please, come, please Stay come in your position. <laughs> Stay in your position. We'll come get you as soon as possible. Um, and by the way, I would have uh, let rain pop up onto the back of the broom and like redo a, a, a sweep yes. of the area. Yeah, sure. You guys are close enough to yell like, for each other and to figure out like where you guys yeah. are. Okay. And I'm every like time we fun. find someone new... Um, I take the ever, the rope and tie around uh, a hand, a wrist. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. We slowly make our way We slowly Sai start Sai gathering <laughs> together, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And start heading the way that Malbert All right, he is going is to, leading us. to roll another survival check. <sighs> Yeah, it's really difficult to know where you guys are going. Um, oh fuck! He's having he's having a lot of trouble in this in this weather. Um, if he's having that much trouble, we should just hunker down. I, I if uh, are you sure we're not lost? We might need to wait until the storm passes. Oh, uh, all right. Um, just find us a good. Camping spot? Uh, he finds a, um, a, he does find a good camping spot. It's shielded away from, it, there's like an overhang, so mm -hmm. he, he can bring you guys under it. It's not that windy, so there's not like too much snow that comes in towards it. So yeah, he does find you a decent camping spot. And I cast the tiny hut. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna slap myself with another cure wounds. <laughs> okay. Still right. feeling it. How's everyone feeling? Ah, uh, that was crappy. Um, my words gonna say. I Indeed. Yeah. I haven't dealt with um, abominable yetis in a long time. They don't usually hunt in pairs, but... These two look quite close. <laughs> Could be mating well, season. Um, I was feeling really shitty after that coat of cold, but no cure wounds helps with that, thank <laughs> God. <laughs> Alright, who's still looking hurt? Uh, I took a little bit. I could, if we're hunkering down, I can just uh, patch myself up. Alright. Sorry, how are you feeling? Uh, I'll be, I'll be all right for now. Okay. Um, I would imagine we're going to be resting a little bit, mm -hmm. potentially even just sleeping through the rest of the day because, totally. honestly, it's really shitty outside, and I'm, I'm kind of over ice for a little bit, so. Just let Mr. it go, Zaitar. Let it go. Mr. Lilla, you're doing all right? Oh, yes. I'm a, I'm fine, mm. darling. All right. She's going she's gonna to hit herself with a cure wounds. Okay. At uh, second level. So we're hunting it up. Yep. Some hit dice. Yeah. Because I have 38 hit points. Oh no. I have slightly more hit points. <laughs> I guess. 
All right, so you guys have been traveling. Fifty-one is not bad. For that, so yeah, so you, it's gonna take a little while. Still, probably, if you can get some good travel time in the next two days, um, you guys have been slowed down by. You took a detour to the hunting post, and then this weather is just terrible. Uh, it's gonna take. Probably another two days of travel at this point. Uh, to get where you need to get. We definitely need to tell Alexandria that we're delayed because of the weather. <laughs> nice I can, yeah, I can do that whenever. Um, yeah, might as well do it like before a long rest. So yeah. That we don't like waste any important spell slots. Um, by the way, Tilda at some point would have told you guys the response uh, that Alexandria gave, which was, um, "We'll come to Vanguard when we can. Ice Anvil's defenses are difficult to penetrate. We'll have Nenrine look for possible illegal exporters from Algor." Okay. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. So I don't know when she's coming. Um, but I suppose we should let her know. Um, <laughs> Prim is like dozing. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess since uh, Lynn isn't here, we can probably cut it a little bit early. Um, yeah. It's only by like half an hour. Yeah, it's only half an hour, so. No big deal. Um, next week is... It's nice to be leveled up while she was gone, so I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> next week is the 30th. I tried, New guys. Eve. I tried. Or not New Year's Eve. No, it's so November. Oh, never mind. <laughs> You've got it's another month. Yep, you're way <laughs> early. It's November. Happy Thanksgiving, and we skip Christmas, and now <laughs> it's New Year's. New Year's Day. Day. I'm just, I'm just tired. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Um. So oh. yeah. So the thirtieth. I'll let people know next week, at the beginning of the week. Um, that's about it. That's all I can think of. Anybody have any okay. pressing concerns? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yay. We lived. Yay. Uh, I have a new favorite spell. And that is... Cross Wolverine, you <laughs> That's pretty good, also. Because uh, Spirit Guardians um, 